Alright everybody, so today we're looking at the Hyper Emerge pack number 4. Uh, these packs recently came back and I never reviewed the first, not the first one, the fourth one. So uh, I wanted to actually take a look at it, so that's pretty cool. So this one includes four. I'm pretty sure I've taken a look at all these, I'm not sure though, but you guys can actually find those uh, original videos if you want to see um, a detailed version of all the mods. Because I don't go in like full detail with all like these weapons because it would take like a long time if I did what I do for every single one but we're, we're gonna go into like the most detail and stuff like that and um, with these merge packs the mod author makes it a lot easier to get all the weapons uh, one of them you can just add to your inventory because and there's also quests you can start to do with it and decide if, if you want to put the little list but the other is you can just craft the cooking station uh, there's just these. It doesn't require anything. But if there's one missing, and that's just to go into the chem station, and you just craft that anyway. You need a assault rifle, and a lot of you need gun nut, rank four, and a lot of materials. So that's pretty cool. And then you're gonna get all this. Uh, the fifth one was actually I'm just gonna add on for this weapon here. So it's pretty interesting. But we're gonna look at all these. They're really cool looking. And we'll have a little good time with them. But anyway, we are also just going to. Oh wait, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, craft some Pokeballs. I completely just lost them right here. I need to stop recording so late at night, but <laughs> I'm <my> job. Um, <laughs> recording late at night is Well, it was normal before, but I mean later, like almost morning, basically. Anyway, or anywho, however you want to say it, we need to start looking at these weapons. And make sure it stays day, because, you know, for the sake of the video. And we're going to just test them out, these weapons, and I'll show you what kind of mods they have. And stuff like that. Okay, so... Did I equip those? No, I did not. Did I just... Did I... Okay, whatever. Alright, so we just start with this weapon. Boom! I always love this mod and mods because they're always like, you know, cool looking. Got some always some good animation and stuff like that. And overall, our little weapons are pretty interactive and stuff like that. This one also makes really unique weapons and stuff like that. So it's always really nice. Yeah, this is gonna look like pretty nice looking weapon, like I said. And it does use point three oh eight, does 192 damage, all the perks. Um it doesn't have the best fire rate, but it's only four, wow, that's pretty low. <laughs> it's also as low you can get. Um but then you got this one. She has a texture on already. Interesting. That uses 0 0.5, 0 0.56 ammo. Pretty neat. So soon. That was pretty cool. Has some nice uh, sounds to go along with it, which is always nice. Like I said, it's pretty cool. Easy now. Uh, Hands up. I was just trying to pacify him. <laughs> yes! like that, though. All right. Oh, hello. Now here's a challenge. Actually, not really. <laughs> this gun's really strong. I mean, oh, I hate the enemy so much. It's annoying. When you're it doesn't make any sense anymore. Boy, death balls. Blew off his hand. Go away, Rad Roach. No one likes you. Explode in the moor. It's so annoying. Anyway, what else do we got here? Uh, we got this good old pistol here. Nice. You guys see. 
This is the one that actually has no mods on it, which is interesting. But looks pretty neat. I always like pistol mods. Um, especially like unique ones like that. But, you know, a lot of them are similar and stuff like that. But I love seeing them. I don't know, I feel like I just don't... I see a lot of them, but... Uniqueness is not always a factor of them, but this one's pretty unique. At least in my opinion. But we just tested on a few enemies besides rad roaches. Surprise attack. Power weapon either. This is all the perks and stuff, so you know it's not the strongest weapon, but it's still pretty strong. We'll do this with damage. And it doesn't even have any like any mods on it yet, so once it has some mods on it, it's gonna, you know, destroy it. That's why you need difficulty mods and stuff. <laughs> There we go, we did it. Wait, are you still alive? Yeah, that's what I thought. And we got this one. I remember this one actually specifically. Um, I remember reviewing this one. Just, I just recognized the name of it. This is 0.5.5, six ammo, pretty cool. Also, um, I gotta mention the um, usefulness of this mod is not really good for PC users. It is exclusively really good for console users because it shortens down the massive space you need for all these weapons into like one little pack, which is 100 megabytes. And they usually have megabytes. Out. It's definitely useful if you're a console. Because they're not even on PC, but the links for the PC are all on the mod page. So if you like the weapons, you can still just get them on PC. Not as concerned about space as you know PC users are. It's pretty much whatever your computer can handle. <laughs> so, like I said, you don't have to really worry about that if you're a PC user. But they're really interesting weapon mods. This one's really cool too. This is what I like doing when I have just like destroyed the armor. This is a really good armor piece. But all their armor is gone. And they're gonna die like this. <laughs> Look, they just got destroyed after I destroyed their armor. Wow, look at the difference in the damage between me hitting the shell, though. <laughs> It was just destroying it with this, me um, shooting its shell, so you know it's really good for armor piercing. Alright, so let's see what upgrades we can get here. This one, I specifically we need the upgrades to it. Let's make it a really nice sniper one. Uh, let's do long barrel, actually. Oh, this no, this is the barrel we need. This is the part of the mod right here. The Huntress's barrel right there. And the stock. that. And the scope right there. Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, I don't like the look of that. And why not? <laughs> it's, it has a lot of good damage if you really want to. So this is going to look like with the uh, little modifications you got there. Because that was the third mod there. So I guess I get why they included that. Well, there's so much with this one. Wow, you can just pick a bunch of stuff. Yeah! You can overpower. Like I said, these just have a ton of stuff you can change with them. Really, whatever you prefer. Just so much. Um, this, I feel like all these uh, pistols actually have them too. What? Interesting. Wait, what? What just happened here? Look at this. Okay then. I really wanna I really don't know what's going on here. Is it a glitch or what is going on here? It's really weird. Don't tell me you can do it for this thing too. I hope not. Yes you can. Okay, weird. That was really weird too. 
You literally they turned all of them into this. Look at that. That is so interesting. It's kind of it's really weird. Anyway, guys, if you want to download this mod, it will be in the description. But that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, before we leave, let's just see what this pistol looks like. That is really weird too. <laughs> this is really weird. Look at that. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, subscribe if you did, and I'll see you guys later.